Hello guys, welcome to my new video. I cannot believe it. Autumn is already here. Summer flew by so fast, but I cannot lie, I'm pretty excited for September and the upcoming months. And today, I'm gonna do a lot of autumnal things. I made a list of things I wanna get done today. Um, I think it's gonna be a very fun vlog. And even today's weather fits into the whole mood. It's been raining all morning. So my plan for today, I got ready now and I'm about to do my workout. I'm pretty excited because I wasn't able to work out for the past seven days because my back was hurting. I think I injured it or something. But now I feel like it's getting much better. So I've decided to do a Barry's boot camp class. I'm not gonna push myself too much because I haven't worked Worked out a lot in the past few weeks and I feel like I'm I lost my strength after my workout I'm planning to go to Starbucks to get my first pumpkin spice latte for this season I don't really drink a lot of sweet coffee I like it very bitter so I don't drink a lot of pumpkin spice latte in the autumn and then I'm gonna go to Lush get some bath bombs because I want to have a really nice bath tonight relaxing evening and I saw they have a lot of of Halloween and autumn themed bath bombs and I'm gonna prepare a lot of comforting cozy meals today um, I'm planning to bake something make a really nice dinner for myself so I think I'm gonna enjoy this day very much I gotta head out now because I need to go to my workout but I hope you will enjoy this video as much as I'm enjoying making it and yeah let's start this vlog today after my workout so I'm gonna do a little lush haul because I got quite a few things I went there to buy maybe two bath bombs but I bought a bit more than that I am enjoying baths so much it's such a nice thing to do for yourself to relax to chill out especially now when I'm traveling so much for the past two years I've been traveling every two weeks literally on the plane every two weeks and having a bath is just the most amazing thing I can do for myself after all the stress around traveling, working, etc. So they had Halloween and autumn themed bath bombs and I got one, two, three, four. And not all of them are bath bombs. I recently learned in one of my vlogs that not everything that looks like a bath bomb is a bath bomb. <laughs> if you have watched that video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But we have three bath bombs here. And I again bought the same thing I got last time. If you haven't watched that vlog, I'll just link it down below. But it was so funny because I was so confused and trying to figure out why is my bath bomb not fizzing. So the first one we have is this little ghost. This is so cute. It has blue, pink, and white. I haven't looked at a picture how this looks like when you put it in a bath. This has like a citrus scent. It smells very very fresh. Now we have the second bath bomb, which is so adorable. Guys, look at this. It's a little pumpkin. This smells so good. It has cinnamon. This is all in Italian, so it's really hard for me to understand what it says exactly. But this one I saw online how it looks when you put in a bath and it's like yellow and orange, a bit of green because of this. So I told my boyfriend the other day that I'm taking a bath and that I got this bath bomb. 
and he was like what is a bath bomb <laughs> Lika has no clue so i was literally explaining to him what a bath bomb is and i was like i'll buy a few so we can try them out together okay so this one i think it's gonna look very pretty when it dissolves in the bath it looks like this it's like a little potion it's called let me see magic potion bath bomb it's very colorful so I can imagine it looks incredible in the bath. Oh my god, this is the best smelling one so far. And then this one I bought the other day and I thought it was bath bomb, but it isn't. It's called pumpkin crumble bubble. So you're supposed to crumble it under the running water. So it's a little pumpkin again, but this one looks a little bit different. And why I thought it was a bath bomb, because literally it looks like a bath bomb. This one smells really, really nice and made my skin incredibly soft okay this one and the magic potion have the best smell so far at least for me i don't know everyone has a different taste but for me these two have the best smell i'm guessing you can just split it in half and then use one half for one bath and the other for another one and the last thing i got is the mr pumpkin face face mask which looks like this and i'll open it right now so you can see it literally looks like a gold mask and i'm gonna use it a bit later when i take a bath it smells so good it doesn't have a really strong scent but it smells nice and that's what i got at lush i'm super super excited to take a bath tonight i still haven't decided which bath bomb i'm gonna use but maybe i'm thinking i'm gonna use the pumpkin now i'm gonna make myself some dinner we're gonna make some tacos but i'm gonna make them in my own way because i don't have all of the ingredients that i actually need for tacos i just remembered i didn't buy onions today i totally forgot so we'll just have to work with this so we have some organic minced meat uh, then we have this taco mix the seasoning then we have some beans avocados and taco shells i am super hungry so i want to finish this super fast and eat asap Okay guys, so these are my tacos. I'm quite happy with how they turned out. Although I think I left the shells in the oven for a bit too long. So we're gonna see how that tastes. I haven't had tacos in a while, so I'm pretty excited about this. I feel like this is exactly what I need after a long day of walking and doing a hard workout. Okay, let's try it. The only thing, the shells could have been a bit less cooked but i like it it's good now it's time to make a dessert i'm gonna make a banana bread and this one is super healthy recipe so i'm just gonna link it down below the instagram post that i found and i've been making this banana bread for a while now for a few years and now i'm going to show you the ingredients i'm going to use so we have 70 percent chocolate you can use any chocolate you like you're supposed to add it at the end just to add some sweetness and chocolatey flavor then we have some vanilla then we have some baking powder and what i've discovered it's very different in the us and in europe so if you're in europe probably baking powder and baking soda is in one and baking powder and baking soda are separate in america then we have some cinnamon we have some flaxseed um i was struggling to find this in italy but you can buy it at any health store so in case you want to buy this in italy uh the store is called natura c and you have a couple of stores around Milan if you're spending some time in Milan and you decide to bake. Then we have two ripe bananas, two eggs. This is almond flour. In this recipe it says almond flour, but I guess you can use oat flour or coconut flour if you want. Then we have some coconut oil. Also, I was struggling to find this at the regular store, so I just bought it at the same store I bought the flaxseed. Um, then we have some organic honey. 
Uh, we have peanut butter. This one I actually brought from Monaco because I really love this one. And in Europe, I'm really struggling to find a peanut butter and almond butter that I like the taste of so yeah i brought the whole jar with me so i'm using the peanut butter i think in the recipe it says to use almond butter but as i said whatever is your preference then i got these today so i didn't get the baking pan for banana loaf but i got these ones that are recyclable and I think I'm gonna make two of these because they're pretty small. So because I'm staying at the Airbnb, I'm very restricted with the kitchenware and they don't have a lot of mixing bowls, so I'll have to use these two. I'm gonna use this one for dry ingredients and this one for wet ingredients and then I'm just gonna add wet ingredients and in the dry ingredients here and mix it all together. Okay guys, so I put too much almond flour because I don't have measuring cups in this apartment so I was just guessing how much I was putting in and then I ended up with three mini banana breads and now at least I'm gonna have a dessert every single day for the next five days probably so now I'm gonna let them cool down and then I'm gonna try it out and when they cool down completely I'm gonna put them in the fridge and Believe it or not, this banana bread is even better when it stays in the fridge overnight. But you just need to make sure you don't put it in the fridge while it's hot because then it's not going to be good. And you need to make sure you wrap it completely when you put it in the fridge because otherwise it's going to get dry and it's not going to be good. So to keep the moisture, you need to wrap it in something, whatever is your choice. I know some people don't like aluminum foil but you can use something else that you prefer and put it in the fridge. Just make sure it's tight and there's no air coming in. 